What's going on guys, Connor on Chain, bringing you guys another video talking about some ordinal stuff. So this has been kind of bigger on the market today, you know, over the last, I was, I was going to say maybe 15 hours to 24 hours, you know, we actually just had a huge airdrop of, I'm going to pull up the Twitter, Twitter is at rune coin, rune underscore coin. So these were airdrops to thousands of wallets, thousands of people. And what these are, I guess, are rune coin miners. So if you guys are familiar, um, runes is going to be a newer, in my opinion, like an upgraded BRC20 slash meta protocol that's going to be coming out. Um, the same dev that has worked on, you know, BRC20 and Ordinals, he's working on Runes, and Runes is coming out with its own token as well. But what RuneCoin is, this is not associated with, you know, Track or any, like, developers from that. But this was airdropped, and like I said, what they claim to do is that they're going to mine Runes token. You know, and it's very speculative in my opinion. Because again, Runes is not actually out yet. They still have at least a month and a half before Runes are actually going to be released. <clears throat> but this has been very interesting to see. Um, so let me go to the website too. Because it's kind of like a gamified mine. It's pretty interesting. RSIC, a peer-to-peer -peer Rune allocation system. First ever Rune on Bitcoin. Like this, again, I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. Um, you know, cause outside of, I'm pretty sure rune X or the actual rune pages claim that, you know, they got the actual first rune token, but again, that's getting like into technicals. I don't think it matters that much. Um, factories purpose produce RSICs, RSIC dis distribution centers. Yeah. I actually didn't read the supply chain there. Situation of technical arms race has begun. 21,000 cutting edge RSICs manufactured in our factory are being sent from the distribution centers to the ordinals community. The RSICs are designed for the sole purpose of securing a bag of runes. These runes will be etched in our foundry as the runes protocol launches on Bitcoin. So yeah, in my opinion, I think these were sent out to many different notable projects, including Bitcoin punks, Bitcoin frogs, um, node monkeys, I think some um, puppets as well, if you guys are familiar with any of those projects, but I assume there might have been a couple more, and I, I'm not sure, because, and the reason why I'm not 100% sure is because they haven't come out and claimed anything about how they've actually sent the tokens out to people, but so they got the runes allocation, if I can move this in, runes allocation types and distribution, so they get a flat up to 30% of fully diluted rune supply, flat reward of 21 runes per block per active RSIC. And so what that means to active RSICs. So when you were airdrop these in your wallet, if you got one, and initially they are not going to be active the second that you they hit your wallet. What you have to do is you actually have to just make a simple transfer, whether it's to someone else's wallet or if it's to your own wallet. And from there, the um, the rune miner RSIC will be active. And it will be actively mining, I guess, 21 runes per block. And so yeah, they, they do have like a kind of under the radar right now, but they do have a, I guess some sort of rarity aspect to it. I don't know much about it at all here. And they do have a boost but again, I haven't looked, I, I don't really, I haven't looked too into that aspect specifically, but I know some info on it's right here. They get boosted. A single boost will be available to all, all RSICs. So they actually post, that's pretty cool. And they posted uh, something on sat 47034000000. That's the hash of the instructions for how to activate the boost. And you have the transaction hash. Um, let's see what this is happening. Five. Um, so I guess there ha ha there's a happening for them too. 
in a block, 840,000. Each R RSIC gets one ticket for this raffle for every consecutive block. It was held in the address, holding it one block, 840,000 is mine. Yeah, and so right off the bat, there's a, like something reading that, I don't fully understand this specifically. Um, but again, these this is something you guys can look at too. But, you know, it has just been interesting because, like I said, this was just airdrop to people literally last night out of nowhere. Like, I wasn't even paying attention, you know, until a couple hours later. And I saw this all over Twitter. But some things that are pretty interesting that I saw is um, we can check out Leonidas. Leonidas NFT. So he's a huge advocate for ordinals. He's building Ordio. Shout out, shout out Leonidas. Um, you know, he actually, he dropped some info on runes here. It's pretty interesting. It's published an on-chain message explaining that's part of the game. What was it? Yes, yeah, so that was last night. But bottom line, what, there's a post that he made saying that um, there are some inscriptions that were some of the first inscriptions on Ordinal specifically. I think legitimately, like, Inscription 125 and 126, there were two inscriptions, like literally in the first couple of hundred, that said, um, I think it said steady, <laughs> steady lads and something else. But bottom line, it's he kind of had a post that kind of ties these first literal 100, 120 numbered inscriptions to these 21,000 that were airdropped. Which, the reason why that's, you know, in my opinion, it could be pretty big is because, you know, this is something, in my opinion, that looks like it's been planned out for a while. This wasn't something that, you know, someone just cooked up, had an artist do it, you know, two days ago and just, you know, sent it to a wallet. Like, it seems like this has been planned for a while, you know, and that's, that's what makes this kind of a big deal. And a lot of people are speculating and people are speculating really hard on it, honestly. Actually, I don't know why I'm not following them, too. Um, and so I guess, too, with the supply, I think 80% of it was actually distributed. Or it might have been 80 or 90% was distributed, and then 10 to 20% is actually for the literal team. And they call them the game designers here. Um, but that's just another thing to throw in there, you know. So that was kind of their white paper that we went over a little bit, but yeah. And this is also, that's why I was saying, like, is this literally tweets about steady lads, which this is the exact text inscription that was, you know, 126 that was inscribed over a year ago, you know, which is where people are speculating on too. But, you know, overall, pretty interesting stuff. And, I, you know, we'll see what this is going to do over time because right now, you know, Again, Runes isn't even out, so right now we're betting on the promise that whatever project, if they're, you know, related to Runes, or actually related to Runes, or any sort of protocol like that or not, we're betting on the speculation that they will actually deliver Runes coin to, you know, any and all participants that are actually mining active, um... Rune coin miners, if you want to call them, RSICs. So bottom line, really interesting stuff. Uh, it was kind of cool to just see this, you know, airdrop to everyone overnight. And I'm pretty sure these are actually going for... They're going for, I think, 0 0.015. Oh, 0 0.024 now. So they're starting to move up. So let's show... Yeah, so the floor right now is zero and zero point zero two four, which that's close to around a thousand dollars per RSIC right now if you have one. So that, yeah, like that's a pretty that's a pretty hefty airdrop, you know, just to come out of nowhere like that. So whoever did it, also right. The thing is that I didn't even mention is if you are going to do an airdrop and even inscribe this many, um, I guess inscriptions depending on how you do the transactions for it, you know, it's not cheap. Like if you're going to inscribe like a 10K collection on Bitcoin right now, like it's, 
it is a hefty price and i'm not talking like a couple hundred bucks not even a few thousand it's it is heavy in price like salary we're talking like salary pricing just to again depends on how you do it but we're talking like set like full out yearly salaries to inscribe some sets like this so in my opinion right someone wouldn't just do this out of nowhere this has definitely been planned and i, I really think this is going to play out pretty well i like this is a really cool you know airdrop i think it's one of the most creative and innovative ones that's you know hit the space in a while like and i, I mean space not even just ordinal it's just in crypto in general you know obviously we have airdrops from like people staking tia or whatever but you know this this i feel like is really innovative i like this so i'm, I'm all for this i think this is dope um but bottom line that's what i got for you guys today just throwing a little update out because again that just happened literally last night and we'll see where this goes i'll keep everyone updated just want to throw that out there so appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one